This conference will early. now be recorded. A little early. All right. How is everyone? Good. Cool, cool, cool. So, anybody got any uh, noteworthy things that they want to talk about? 115 degrees in SoCal. Oh, boy. That sounds good. How's the humidity? It's a dry heat. There is yeah. no humidity. It, it doesn't rain here for 10 million light years. <laughs> Still what? I figure, Brian, you're, you're, you're in my weather. Should be damn near the same. Yeah, probably pretty close. I'm, I'm sticky. Uh, 100 degrees, 100 percent humidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's. I think they said it feels like like 104 here today or something like that. I don't know. Hey, I can't so. complain. My kiln's been getting up to 130 and above. <laughs> right. You got a solar, solar kiln. I got what about 400 board foot of red oak in it that needs to come out, but I can't get it in my shed right now. Wow. So, so let's see. Uh, today's topic was going to be, or is still going to be, uh, kind of talking about the cheat sheet workflow improvements. Uh, and I'd put that on there just as a filler. And I thought it might be something that we could cover since hopefully everybody's seen the cheat sheet. Um, if there's anybody new, I think most everyone uh, has been on here before, but if you hadn't, if you want to, feel free to jump on and say, hey, real quick, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself um, before we get going. Let me pull my uh, agenda back up. Jim's uh, not here to assist me with that. Maybe, uh, Chris, you'll have to run the... Uh, soundboard and the top in the stopwatch oh, for me today <laughs> i'm about sounds but i can do uh timing so um top top you're a minute in i'm a minute in so um the first 15 was an intro and welcome first timers and that kind of stuff uh you probably already know who we are um but like i said i was going to talk about the the cheat sheet and it's kind of ironic we got an email from someone about some feedback about some of the things um about people not having a real good idea that there's one hour training. Um, and if there is, sometimes um, people think it might be a gimmick or something, so they don't follow through with it. And I don't know how uh, prevalent that is, but we take any feedback, you know, uh, seriously on that. So I thought that would tie into the cheat sheet a little bit. But from what you guys have seen from the cheat sheet, do you see anything that stands out? You know, like I, I know it needs to be. I think it needs to be arranged a little better. It's in kind of kind of an order, like all the stuff about the electrical is before the running the machine stuff <laughs> and that kind of thing. But I think that we could, you know, maybe find a little better bullet list, you know, to to classify those things and get them kind of tightened up a little. Um, but what do you think overall? I don't know. I'm trying to I'm gonna pull it up now so I can go through. It's been yeah, can, six months since I saw it. Yeah, I can I can pull it up on the screen. Well, I can give it a shot here. Let me see which uh, where I'm at. Oh, it's all good. <clears throat> Monitor one, clean screen. I think I got it right. And share. And the cheat sheet is here. So. In, in the beginning of it, you know, I just have a link to the manual and, and a setup video and a initial one hour training example. And I kind of get into the first steps here about the heads and, and all of that. It's a little out of, it might be a little out of whack. Well, no, here, uh, I do need to change some stuff around. I don't like the way I started working on it uh, and putting some headers in there and I kind of screwed it up. But the optics, most of the stuff is there. You know, the main power requirements, venting. Uh, dimensions if you need it you know and it's kind of in order setting it up you know so you can run light burn while um, you wait on your machine and that kind of stuff I mean of course there's always stuff that can be better Chris do you see anything or I mean well anybody for that matter that you that you think might could be better on it um, and if there's not a lot of discussion on it maybe we'll just push it to the side and move on to something else if I mean you know I just want to 
make sure that it's the best it can be. Um, you guys, we haven't really it done a good one. What's, the uh, what's that? the only thing the only thing that I want to do is I'm going to put some of that into video form, um, just because right. you're talking to a bunch of uh, boat board users, they're used to that. Yeah, so every section basically has a short video along with it, so that it's kind of boom right. boom boom. And, yeah, so and I agree with that. Expand on the stuff that is there and and make some more content for it. You know, to expand on it, I agree with that. And we already know that a lot of people don't read. Um, so maybe they'll watch a video instead. We'll yeah. try it and see what happens. Yeah. So, I mean, and there may not be a whole lot to kick around on this topic. I mean, evidently it works fairly well because most everybody gets their machine going. <laughs> so a lot, of it, a lot of it, I think is common sense too. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there, there is that. And then, you know, and then you can go jump down a bunch of these rabbit holes and go off in a whole nother direction on a lot of this stuff. So I don't want to put too much in there either. But, you know, uh, I, you know, I, I think if we look, I think as we go back and maybe look at this cheat sheet as an actual uh, timeline of how it gets set up, we can put things in a good order, you know. Uh, and, and add some of the stuff like Chris was talking about. I think he's going to work on some of that. Of course, we got a lot to work on. Let me kill that screen uh, for a minute because I finally got Odin hooked up permanently where I have exhaust and air go into it, and I don't have to switch exhausts between the uh, uh, 3580, the Nova that I've got, so I can finally start doing some head-to-head. -head. And more good news because I'm not good at that stuff. Chris is uh, – or CeeLo, Loco, whatever. Uh, which one? CeeLo, are we going with CeeLo? I feel like there ought to be paparazzi all around you. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go with we'll go with CeeLo. Okay, um, you've got an Odin coming, right? I hope you. I hope I didn't spoil that. I hope that wasn't a, something you're going <laughs> to no, pop no, out there for later. So we'll no, all fine. have all of the technologies. We'll all have DC tube, RF tube, mm -hmm. and fiber machines, uh, so that cool. we can all do our own special little niche things on it. You know. So that'll be good moving forward. Um, anything else about that? So we'll just leave that open-ended. <laughs> We're going to okay. keep working on the cheat sheet. That is one of my focuses. And, and Chris had mentioned, or CeeLo had actually mentioned some stuff about that earlier. Um, Brian, so we'll keep adding to it. Check it. What, yeah. is, what is your overall intent of this? Is this the end all be all? I'm uncrating the laser. I should look at this first. This is from the minute you pay for your machine moving okay. forward, the electrical requirements, the venting requirements. So you can go yeah. ahead and have your stuff. Yeah. And 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 to, to your point, which you may be starting to make, is maybe we need a section in there on some materials to have on hand so that you're not cutting up your crate, things like that. And that's that, that as I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, I just wanted to make sure I'm reading this from a per, the, the person that I just bought my laser. This is the first thing that I should do is read this to understand so that either A, I'm not asking the same question that has been asked a hundred times before, or I'm not confused that the outlet comes with or without the laser. Um things of that nature. Uh, or if you are confused, you at least have time to submit a request if you need to and clarify and, and so, get that. And before the laser shows up and you're like, oh, I don't have my electrical in yet because I don't have the right plug. You know, that kind of, we want to prevent as much of that as we can, you know, ultimately. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm asking, you know, I have a mm -hmm. tech writer background um, mm -hmm. for years in the yeah. military. So that would be something, okay, you know, maybe, a, a, and I haven't gone through these videos, when you talk about the electrical, this is what the plug looks like. If your electrician has to ask you what type of plug it's supposed to be, find a new electrician because a 15 amp and a 20 amp look completely different. Um, I'm sorry, today's been one of those days where um, I, I'm going to wind up being a, a smart aleck. So I apologize <laughs> now. But so that the like we struggled with the given um, the vent hoses. That mm -hmm. hard plastic is horrible to get over 
event. So we trashed it and I just replaced it with the flexible stuff. It went on stupid easy. Um, and at this point, when you're talking $12,000, what's 10 or 15? Right. Yeah. So, but so, yeah, ideally the cheat sheet is the end all be all number one place you go, even if you've never seen a laser before on how to prep for it and make sure that you're able to all the way through making your first cut ultimately is what we right. want it to be. So, yeah. And, and again, remember, you know, at the bottom of all these articles, you can do the thumbs down uh, and, you know, or the thumbs up if you like them. Uh, but if you do the thumbs down at the bottom, if it wasn't helpful, you, it'll give you a place to describe what wasn't helpful or what we can do to you know make it better or clarify those things so we, we like hearing like that we like to hear the bad stuff so fire away if you have any so um where are we at on time oh cool we're we're in time still do we want to talk about your thing CeeLo? your um yeah program? i don't know how many people yeah i don't know how many people on here are going to take advantage of it but um as as a group thunder is going to be offering curriculum so a lot of people struggle with photos uh, a lot of people struggle struggle with jigs um and we're going to be trying to um really train you and do successful um engravings or or cuts by the end of our specialized training sessions nice so i mean it, Photos, obviously, those of you guys that know me, that's that's my thing. I, I'm I'm known for my photos, and I can typically teach you and get you to the point where you're engraving amazing photos quickly. Um, so we'll be focusing on that, and then a lot of the ins and outs, and there there'll, there'll also be a freestyle section where where if you're struggling in some area or want to learn something else about light burn, you just yeah sign up and we'll be able to take care of that and we'll spend an hour with you and go in detail uh, of what you want to cover yeah so so a more a more focused specialized training uh through thunder yeah and and of course we'll have tutorials on how to do photos and that kind of stuff the usual outlets you won't have to pay 150 dollars to learn how to do a photo either unless you just want to go that deep you know we'll, we're still going to have you know some stuff like that but like he said the the freestyle stuff even if you wanted to work on a, a best workflow on how to do a specific job you know you could work through that um and you know and it, it's limitless and one, of, and one of the things that i bring to the table uh that i bring to the table is i ran a laser company for you know, five years now so you know taking it from uh, getting my laser to being able to make my first payment the first month, uh, you know, starting from scratch, I can help with marketing ideas and, and business best practices. So uh, even when it comes to something like that and freestyle, I'm more than welcome or more than happy to, to deal with any of that. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, from my, from my perspective and, you know, I, I haven't seen any of your work except for what you posted what last week on the granite right. um and then i think i saw one of your your posts you know somebody like us we don't do photos you know we have our very special niche that we run now you mm -hmm. know you want to talk about military gifts then yeah all day long we do these you know right and left but looking at the you know, to, to me if we're going to start doing photos it's well worth it i would much rather use you knowing you are whether it's employed or contracted or whatever but you're carrying the thunder name i feel more comfortable yeah well, he drinks I mean, the thunder uh, aid he's he's full-blown thunder guy well, he's, he's on that, staff just like us all <laughs> just like me and chris so. you screw up it reflects back on the whole company so i know it's not going right. to happen joe schmo the rag man out there that oh you pay <laughs> for an hour and i'll help you I, I don't trust. Right. right. I agree. So I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, just, you know, utilizing what you have or if you find others. Um, we were discussing it earlier today at lunch. It, it's a fantastic idea. Somebody like us is more comfortable just going straight through Thunder. I know mm -hmm. I'm going to get my money's worth than somebody else because you've seen the horror stories. We all have. Right. 
So, yep, that's that's coming too. So, what else do we have? What time is it? Oh, we have to move to our next thing. Um, what is our next thing? Newcomer questions and comments. Awesome. So, who wants to be a newcomer and, and ask us a question? <laughs> And make sure your mic is turned on. I see a bunch of new newbies. If not, we won't put you on the spot. But if anybody has any questions at any time, raise your hand, kick your mic on, do whatever, and we'll be glad to talk about whatever you got going on. Well, I've got a question. Okay. It it may seem silly. For buying a ten thousand dollar laser that includes an aquarium uh, diffuser, so you can run uh, air to like twelve <laughs> different things. But I've never seen on any videos a knob on the air assist. A knob? Yeah, something that has an indicator, so when you turn that little uh, thing, you can keep track of where it's going to. Oh, you're talking about on the air assist? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, it's hard. It's it would be hard to do that because that that needle valve you got to turn it multiple rotations. Yeah, but you still have some random frame. Uh, if you're just tweaking it left or right a little bit. Uh, you could. You Mostly that's like a less than a feel. A gauge. Yeah. Well, we have. You know, you can put a gauge on it. You know, and actually, actually. Yeah, I'm talking about. If you say way. you want to go to say a number that you've done before. You know to turn that little, put a little indicator on the knob right there. Even if gotcha. you say twice around or whatever. So you just, there's a reference of where you're yeah. turning it to. Yeah. The other thing about those valves, if you'll notice, if you loosen up the stop ring and you get a certain value, and if you wiggle it left and right or pull up and down on it, you'll get a variance. So yeah. using a physical, using a physical detent to go back every time may not yield the same result every time. Not like it would if you were actually measuring the pressure if that if that makes sense it, it'll get you really really close but it may not get you to the same place every time the way that valve yeah. is yeah. yeah but just to look at a little slump in the knob uh where it's pointing to is gotcha something you can't remember yeah hmm. well we can always run I that up the flagpole I, I don't know if tommy oh. wants to make a 3d printed one though oh to slide over the top you could, yeah, just, you could it's make a knob. One. You slide right on. Yeah, yeah. or you could uh, take a Sharpie and just put a little dot on one corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I could get a little piece of wood and uh, do it. You could. You could cut one out and uh, press it uh, on there. If that's made uh, from the. Uh, it wouldn't be difficult to design and have it slip over that. The only problem is you would have to physically mark where you want uh, the point triangle to be as your start point or end point. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my drum sander has it where you can just dial the knob from one to nine to speed up the machine or not. I think that's the concept that you're looking for. Just something so you have a reference point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm sitting here staring at that going, it probably <laughs> would be that difficult or not me. That's why I have an engineer. He does all that crap for me. I use my, my resources wisely. <laughs> I think the piece of wood I might try. Um, that might be a, you I might can, be I, can print, I can make a label to go around it. Just mm -hmm. put a, like a 360 degree a, a label on it and keep track of round twice, round left, go to 90, yeah. go to 60. Uh, well, and, and, and that's, uh, all that is is Gemini plastic, you know, a two layer uh, plastic. So yeah, you could take that cover off if you wanted to and engrave it on there. Right. Yeah. If you want to yeah, take all that either. loose. <laughs> I, I have a little more technical question on it, on the, uh, the air assist. I've seen your, the videos you got of, uh, I forget who it was that uh, installed one. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was good, except, uh, let me see here. Uh, the gauge, the wire, where you splice into it for the power, are you clamping something onto the wire to like a, to add a, a, an extra wire to it, or are you splicing it, you're cutting it and splicing a third wire? Either. 
I mean, that's uh, that's generally up to the end user on how they prefer to terminate those. You know what I mean? Okay. It's kind of like yeah. wiring up a radio in your car. Somebody might just twist the wires together and put some black tape around it, but someone else would twist them and make a Westinghouse splice and put heat shrink on it and solder it. So it's all on how you want to do that. We don't have any any best practices for uh, standard low voltage connectivity type situations because there are so many different ways. You could get a tap from Amazon that'll tap yeah, into okay. it and 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 what get the installation out of the uh approximately 18 maybe 20. okay because i got taps uh i just didn't want to go tap it and find out oh shit, i'm gonna screw something up yeah now if you're just pulling the 24 volts off that led lamp there's you know not not a whole lot you can do to mess that up so even okay. if you accidentally cut them in half you can wire nut them back together if you want to <laughs> although we probably and, wouldn't recommend that but and i got one last thing it I, I've, I've watched over a hundred videos on your website and everybody else's uh, who uh, works or does anything with any to do with Thunder Laser. Mm -hmm. When you install the camera, mm -hmm. no one, no one tells you focus. Yeah, we do. Do you? Yeah. 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 Okay. Man, I miss that because first time I did it. I was getting crappy results and said, this is a great, terrible picture. And then I realized it's not in focus. Yeah. It, 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 it's probably not in big bleaky lights on the site, but it's in there. It may be a little obscure, but we even have an article on correct placement and how to focus the camera uh, before you do the alignment. And, and that's kind of the thing okay. that I'm getting at too, is that, that the documentation, a lot of people read it and then some people don't, and they're watching all these videos online. So if we start making little incremental uh, thunder, videos to walk people through it i think it's going to be very beneficial to, to yeah. some of these people that that just i don't have yeah. time to sit and read so so i would rather watch a video and skim through exactly. it and find the important part yeah and and some of it is obscured a lot it, some of it's hard to find some of it you have to dig yeah. around for some you know what i mean it, it's not always easy to find that information so it's not it's not just that oh well you need to read the documents i know there's more to it than that you know what i mean because because there's a lot of rabbit holes to jump down a lot of a lot of little corners in that a lot of hidden stuff in there so yeah and and and, and jim our our documentation brian and chris the articles that that were written i mean oh, you can probably take every you can take every single laser company and combine them together and this is this is not me talking as a thunder employee this is me talking as i've, I've had several different types of lasers that you can combine them all and it's not even close to what we have so so uh i guess just having multiple sources of, of how to view it is the only answer but they've done a phenomenal job yeah but yeah. I, I agree with that in the videos and and that stuff too this you know the shorts and, and you know a lot of times we'll make a video if somebody has a question in in a ticket for instance you know if, if we need to make one on how to check the power on the you know the main breaker or whatever it is you know we put that kind of stuff together and we start doing a little bit of that in the in the uh youtube section which i'll be able to put more stuff out you know since i have more people now we have I'm, more time i'm such a beginner that i uh, i know my, being in the aviation background i like checklists so mm -hmm. i print up an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper and I have to put down turn laser on and do this, do that, turn actual laser on the second knob on because so many times I go to think I'm going to do something uh -huh. and it doesn't cut anything. It doesn't even move. We and, all do that. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> so do I got to, I got to put all my checklists, turn air on, turn this or turn whatever it is. I have so, to do. Uh, so Jim, yeah. there's there's a cool little feature in Lightburn now that is an actual checklist when you turn it on. When you start yeah. Lightburn, there's a checklist and it'll pop right up, and you can use that. Yeah, I tried it. I had to turn it off after a while. It started getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Um, anybody else got anything? Um, wait, I just got a chat here. Oh, what, what is everyone setting the delay to on their fan if they're using it in the new light burn? I set mine to eight and it seems really long. Yeah, eight is long. I set mine to eight too and I'm starting to think about turning it back down. 
I'm thinking Maybe about five. Five or four or five, yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's got a traverse to where it's got to start, it's already ramped up and ready to go. So it gets there and you're like, man, why am I waiting? Oh, I, I told it to wait. Have you seen the rotary spin when that happens? It just sits there and spins? Or was that just me? The rotary? I, I had a delay set on. Oh, and, you know, I, I haven't tried it with the rotary in it yet. And, and the rotary just spun. Really? Like, it, yeah, I, it just, mm, <laughs> then it just uh, came back around. That might be a bug. <laughs> it might have, it, 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 it only did it once, I, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened, and I didn't try to replicate it or do it again. I was like, whatever. But I yeah, think yeah. I remember the rotary. I, I know for sure the rotary just started going, while, you know, while it was waiting to do something. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't report it or anything. I'll check it the ground. I have to try it. And see. Yeah. But and then yeah and then you could set the the other one but then that would defeat the purpose of the TL timer, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you set the end one, be careful because you'll end up having whatever time you set on it plus whatever's already plus programmed, which TL I think is like timer. twenty seconds on yeah. the yeah on the TL timer. There's so. no point in setting any time to the end of it. No, I love the beginning one though, I, and I see why he put it on the end one because a lot of people don't have that TL timer, so that basically does. Uh, well, the TL timer does a lot more than just the exhaust, too. It does both stages of the air assist. It turns on the alarm lamp and gives power to the rotary and all kinds of stuff. So it's a multifunction board, but handles all of that stuff. So Awesome. All right. Well, uh, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to kick your mic on and say hey. Yeah, hey, Brian, that question I just emailed to you. Um, the, when I'm, I'm starting to, when I turn on the laser for the first time of the day, uh, the little strip lights on the left side, mm -hmm. one little patch, one little patch, I don't know, six, eight inches, it flickers on, off, on, off, and then all of a sudden it'll just stay on after it, I guess I'll call it, warms up, even though yeah, I know could LED be a cold lights solder don't joint. really warm up. Yeah, it could be a cold solder joint uh, or something like that or a, a LED failing that's in that array um we can get you another lamp to go on that side if you'll email support we'll be glad to submit a thing on that and get you taken care of on it okay cool uh is that like doing a ticket or just go yeah to support? You, yeah no you you can email some well the easiest way to generate a ticket is to email support at thunderlaserusa.com. That makes a ticket automatically. To most everybody that emails us don't realize that a ticket, we're actually in a ticket system. It just looks like email to them. And that's fine. That's the way most people like to work. Um, but you can get in there and look at your history and, and look at any public notes that we make that may not come through um, any of the tickets. But you don't have to. You don't have to log in. Um, you can also submit a ticket from the portal where you fill out a little form. But it's the same thing as, you know, it all gets you a ticket started. Uh, so it doesn't really matter which way you go to get there. But typically just email and support at thunderlaserusa.com is the best way. Do you guys have, um, for the one-hour training to get you started, do you have any evening times or are they all just during the day? There are some evenings. There's even some weekends. You'll just have to go in and look at the uh, scheduling page and see if there's any times that suit you. And then there's also some instruction at the top of the article um, if there's any, uh, you know, outside normal business hours kinds of classes going on. Sometimes we'll have uh, an email that you can contact them for nights and evenings. But we get on there a pretty good amount of time. It's not just bankers hours. I'll put it to you that way. I think I have mine set up from nine to nine. So. If it's not if it's not allowing it, then we got to just check and see. Yeah, but yeah, there's yeah, it's I think nine to nine is what we have all of our scheduling stuff as long as there's a technician available. Okay. Yeah, we've got our laser in March, and we finally got the electricity finished, but we've never hooked it up. It's hooked up, but we've never run it yet. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I want to get it going. Yeah. Um, so if you've been following the cheat sheet, you'll be in good shape. There's also a link in there about the uh, there's an article that's called preparing for the one hour training. And that has the list of usual suspects in it. And the usual suspects are the things that every single person, not every single person, most people um, end up tackling during a training session that we could handle way before then. 
and and there's not really a reason to wait or waste your training on so there's a uh, an article and or you could just go to the portal and just do a search for the usual suspects or uh, preparing for one hour training matter of fact i can link them in the in the chat if if that would help um i've seen it okay um, you did yeah, a video we, on it okay and and the best thing to do is go through all that because we want to focus on getting you up and running and and creating stuff as opposed to setting your machine up you know because yeah, we, we want can, you to start making start making money with it uh yeah. not not entering in your scan offsets <laughs> right i've and, already uh, entered those in say, yeah, and that's not, and a lot of people may get a little, a little sidetracked on that because that doesn't mean that we're not going to. Uh, you have to have your machine running before we're going to do training with you. you. You know what I mean? Uh, but what it does mean is that any of those scanning offsets, or if you're not sure how the air assist works, or if you can't get the machine connected, there's no reason to waste your training for that because we have. You know, remote support sessions and and ticket systems that we can run you through and have you usually in a couple of emails are up and running. So there's no reason to wait and for a training session to try to jump over obstacles because we can do that pretty much in real time with you so that you're not having to wait. Okay. Hey, Pat, if, if you're a little nervous about, you know, using the machine for the first time, make sure you follow that uh, cheat startup guide. Just get a scrap piece of wood, put it in the laser, get it about six millimeters from the head. Once you have everything on and you, you can tell that the water is flowing from the uh, water chiller, just hit the pulse button on the laser. Hold it for about half a second. If all of a sudden you see a dark piece of uh, spot on that wood, that means at least your laser tube is firing. Okay. And that's an easy thing that you can do to just kind of check and say, yep, all right, I, I think just about everything's working. Cool. All right. Um, Chris Myers, you got anything, man? No, nah, pretty well, I get, well, one thing, going back to the fan discussion, uh, I still like having mine on the switch. I don't have any delay time. Y'all getting all fancy with your delay time, but I hit the start button and she goes because the fan's already running. And a lot of users have already plugged their fan into wall outlets and stuff like that, so it's not uncommon. But it's a nice feature to see in light burn. But uh, yeah, when I hit the start button, it's ready to roll. And you did the you did the wire swap in the in the yeah. by the contactor right so that it comes on with the laser power switch correct and then my chiller is separate too so i can have it running before you know flipping that switch and hearing the the startup beeps and all that jazz mm -hmm. um if, if eight or yeah. ten seconds seems like a long time I, I love doing that and just boom hit start button and go yeah yeah well we're going to keep those articles up there even though there's a delay oh, yeah. now because there's more than one way to skin a cat so yep sure. so you got to love white burn update and stuff <laughs> yeah we, we're gonna have to redo some of our some of our stuff like the camera calibration because now there's the head mount and the other one and so we're probably gonna have to beef up some of that stuff and redo a little bit yeah i ordered the, uh, the camera for the head mount i'm excited to try that out did you get the mount or did you did you make one i'm gonna make one i haven't made it yet but i'm just gonna make my own when the when i get the camera in tomorrow i just want to have it here to make sure i make the holes the right size yeah i haven't even tried it again since that <laughs> last before well, the last update you know when it when it yeah. commandeered my camera mode and i couldn't change it so i haven't even tried to do the the head mount again i'm gonna mess with it though and see so it's, yeah. Yeah. it's fully functional supposedly it? i don't know Wait. Are you saying or asking? I'm asking. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I need to try. <laughs> we're going to find out here real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. We'll find out because I want to know how easy it is to switch back from head mount to overhead because that'll be something I do a lot of. I bet you have to recalibrate every time. Well, you could always save your files, right? And just re Save the camera profile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can always export those. So it might be a couple steps, but it'd be doable then. Yeah, Not much right more of a step than changing a lens on a fiber, really. Right. 
except on a thunder because the autofocus you got to program them separately <laughs> the, the autofocus you have to i haven't done that yet have you chris have no, you no i have in? not it's on the to-do list to try changing out that galvo lens and you resetting got that up. lens i sent you didn't you that i did okay yeah, and i got that that paper and i want to retest the the nine point calibration and then set the autofocus yeah and i think i have a non-standard lens i don't think they ship with the one that i've got don't okay. i have like a 110 yeah there's something between the focal distance and your working area which number you're referring to yeah so it's three different sizes oh. and i'll try that after you try that <laughs> uh, you, can, you can give me the distilled version. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's so, too bad, right? You break everything down in simple steps, and away we it go. Ships, it ships with a 110. Yeah, I want to say yours is like a 160, wasn't it? Because I, I thought you had the same one I did. I had a, I had a, I thought it was a non-standard. Let me see. As he drops it. <laughs> Yeah, we all saw that. Uh, no, it's it's not that. It's just that it's cross threaded, so I have to twist it a little harder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is a yeah, this is a 110. Okay. I didn't think they ship with a 110 now. Maybe that the lens is not the work. Never mind. Never mind. I think that okay. is the, the smallest one that we have. Yeah, and then Which, I've got I've got the uh, 190, 290, 290. Okay, what did I send you? The 290? Or did right, you already have it in the box? I, th I wrote the it middle, down, but I think the middle one is actually going to be the nicest one. If somebody has that. I think I might have one of the middle lenses. I'll have to look and see again. Yeah, so the fiber, or something like that. Mopa fiber one comes with the middle size. We can go yeah. up or down because I've got a, a 150 by 150 working area. I think my work area is 130 by 130 or around in there. That's what it pulled in from the configuration file. Anyway, yeah, oh, I guess I'm kind of getting off task because we're not it, fiber's not on the list today. I'm gonna have to add it. <laughs> yeah, it probably needs to be on the list because it's picking up some steam. We're getting more out yeah. there. Um, of course, everybody knows the the light burn came out for it, and then us suckers with EasyCAD three still living through that. So maybe that won't be too long. If everybody stays calm on the on the newest revision on the on this release and let them debug that or reverse engineer that other one, see what the protocol's like. I think it won't. I don't know. It took him a long time. It took him a good long time to decode that fiber, the EasyCAD 2. He worked on that forever. He's had those Galvo machines for years. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be that painful with the 3. Yeah, I hope not. I'd like to see it. And then, he, you know, there's always been talk about, too, using the um, the bridge for the camera. I don't know where that still falls on the list, but that would be cool. Yeah. I haven't asked Adam about it just because I knew that they've been working on the fiber stuff and that's probably way low on the totem pole. Um, but I might, I might see where it's at because I really want camera function on that light bridge on the, on the light burn bridge. That would be so handy. Yeah. So. And for, for them, you know, getting those pies right now is probably not very easy. So there's not a whole lot of push for it. Yeah. The price on those suckers. If you want one, I, I suppose you can get one, but, yeah, all the common places are all sold out, of course. Yeah. So I have two or three of them sitting around over here. <laughs> are they coasters, drink holders in their yeah, cases? They're, they're coasters. They, they're dust collectors. I, one's even got a touch screen on it. But it used to be my uh, fake uh, SSID generator. So nice. it would look like there's 20,000 access points around my house. So mm -hmm. even if somebody found mine, they'd have to find it before they could sit there and try to brute force into it. So not that anybody's trying to get into my Wi-Fi. 
but I just like doing that, doing that stuff. What's our next topic? Is there any? You mean like for today? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we, we already burned through our topics. We, we had a topic that was the cheat sheet and, and then we made the, the fiber a topic. So we can have other topics. Like I said, it's not set in stone. You got something you want to talk about? Uh, there's possibly, you know, we talked about the Nova 24 and 35 last week for uncreating, but I don't know if we've really talked about the, the Galva. I don't know. Is that a feature topic or the Aurora? I, we can hit that. There's a lot of them out there. There's a video of me trying to get one out. I never, never asked for help, and I had to go get a neighbor <laughs> to help me pick up that stupid fiber. Not because it was so awkward. heavy, but it's just really awkward. awkward. You, can't grab the, you can't grab the enclosure. You know, there's no pet place to grip, really. So. Yeah, I want to space mine up about another eight inches to bring that work tray basically up to eye level. So you can Just peer up. underneath and watch yeah, it well no it's just it's just so far down like you're you know, you're working in the back of the machine you're having to kind of reach in you know when you have the door lifted up you're kind of having to kind of look back to reach in there i just sit down i just put my rolly chair over there and i'm right <laughs> there at it yeah, i'm, I'm lazy that like that i i don't know if i ever get out of this chair i could just mount the wheels to my butt and i'd be okay <laughs> it's like that movie wally <laughs> So Jim, I see Danny's new, Bill, Pat, do you guys have any questions besides, uh, I know Pat, you had a couple of questions earlier. Yeah, Danny, Danny's been around a while. He likes to, he likes to come in and he's, he's one of the OGs almost. So Sit, sitting back, listening, huh? There he goes. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so all right well we got 20 more minutes to kill what's up with jim or little johnny yeah jim, hey. jim's kind of quiet today i'm here well he <laughs> caught us after we hit record and it already started talking so <laughs> here's your here's your entrance we, we we're leaving giving you a lead in <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't want to dare to do that that's the wrong thing to do. That's the wrong thing. Yeah. You get Tommy and I wound uh, up. It's not good for anybody. So, uh, so Tommy Lois, you, you yeah, had man. mentioned doing, you had mentioned doing um, stuff for military and stuff like that, right? No, uh, that's probably so, what half to three quarters of what we do, minus custom furniture. So, so, I mean, photos is my thing. Hey, Dan. Never mind, I'll get it. I think I just wanted to say it was really cute that they're, they're matching colored shirts. It's really cute. I was going to mention it earlier, and I left it alone. Oh, start. Hey, I got a clean work shirt on today, okay? They're, they're green, but they're not the same. But, the, but they're close enough. They're close enough to be cute. Yeah, but when so, we do so our shows, we actually oh, okay. <laughs> They are wearing similar colors, aren't they? So... so <laughs> I do a lot of stupid shit too. Stuff like this. <laughs> so, you know, from from photos to really really stupid stuff, custom signs. So now was that last week? Was that back piece made like with your plasma cutter? It was, but but there's oh, an alternative, well, right? There's yeah. an alternative. You you could always do that with JDS or um, what, acrylic the, the or fake, uh, fake acrylics, the uh, brushed aluminum acrylic or gold acrylic. Yeah. So there's ways around that if you don't have a plasma cutter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, half inch. Oh, is that is that that acrylic that you were cutting the other day? No, that was a full inch. <laughs> this is oh. this is just half. This is only oh, half oh. inch. <laughs> <laughs> this is only half inch acrylic. So yeah, I mean that freestyle training could be for whatever you desire. 
Well, what if, I, what, we've got a client that um, they're photographers and they're primarily sports photographers. So they're hired right. to go out to the baseball teams or soccer teams and photograph the kids. Um, we want yeah action shots and things like that. We've kind of talked to them um, about it and they were extremely interested in being able to take their photos and then for us to laser it onto whatever for their clients. Right. Um, we do a lot of work with other small businesses, especially other, whether it's a disabled vet or just a vet. Um, you know, we're, we're not the type that we don't advertise. We don't look for big stuff. Um, when somebody comes to us, they're looking for very specific and off the wall. I mean, Christ, I've mounted a NASCAR tire and turned it into a plaque. So for the area that I'm in, um, we're the people that just about anything we can do. Um, so the photos right. specifically interested us because that has the, the potential. Nobody else around here really does it. And right. our only competition, I, they, they're, they're horrible. Um, so, you know, something new to add to her. And this is her, not me. Um, I sit here and she is the one that runs the damn lasers. I, my son is the one that runs the CNC or the, the CNC and the 3D printers. So uh, you got questions about hand planes and I'll talk to you all day long, but you'd be talking to her for most of it. He's my tech support and he helps me move heavy stuff and lift things. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his purpose. Minimal, True. but it's a purpose. It is. <laughs> oh, look at that. It worked, didn't it? Danny, you're oh, muted. Danny, Danny, you're muted. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, Jared Davis sent me that. And uh, the detail... Is this unbelievable? Is that one you done for somebody? Yes. I wish you yeah, could show it to somebody else because it really is outstanding. How's that? Is that on fiber or CO2? That is fiber. But I can get pretty damn close and I can't wait to get the uh, the Odin to see what I could do. Dude, that Odin is going to blow your mind. It's going to be like using the HR lens right out of the box. <laughs> Wonder Woman. So, CeeLo, I got to ask this question. And and, yeah. and bear with me. I mean, some people will laugh at me. Are you, are you familiar with the trading card game Magic? Magic the Gathering? No. Google some Magic the Gathering cards. Brian, you're laughing on this one. But if you can physically have the ability to take some of those images. Um, we got clients all the time asking for weird stuff and a lot of it, most of it's copyrighted, but the detail that goes right. into those drawings, are you able to convert those? And is what, that- What is what it called? You, Magic what? Magic, Magic Gathering. Gathering. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the game was around before Google was even a thing. Right. It was. Um, but I have to Brian, close out the encyclopedia. The, the cards and the detail and the artists. Yeah. Um, in <clears throat> fact, uh, a friend of mine and I are starting a project together with Pokemon cards where we're going to be cutting them and layering them to get a 3D effect out of them. Yeah. You know, so she's got like duplicates of a bunch of cards. And so we're going to cut them up into different layers and then physically layer them with a spacer in between. I can see that on penny cards. I can't see that yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, and you can do the same thing with Magic the Gathering cards. I mean, all of those trading card games, they all kind of look the same. You have a, a nice, you know, artwork on top and then something on the bottom. But it was funny when he said that he didn't know what that was, my son and I, if I would have been off mute, <laughs> you would have heard both of us just crack up laughing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. But to I just wanted you to see what the images look like. And if that's something that the the 
detail and depth that you're able to, I don't want to say that teach would, us how to do, then yeah, it's well worth the damn money to spend for a class. He could do it. He could definitely he's gonna, do he's it. Gonna run, he's going to run one right now. I know he he's is. Trying. So if he's going to do it just to show me. <laughs> here, 32 seconds. I'm done. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My stopwatch is back. Jim, I was looking for you earlier. <laughs> I had a customer. I couldn't get on early I, enough. I was having to pass the soundboard and the st and the stopwatch over to Chris Myers. I'm sorry. So. I had a customer. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, did, fired. I worked for about two minutes and gave up. I was only four minutes late. Yep. Actually, I was a little early today. Usually, I start like at a minute after or something, and I was a little early today. Um. There you the go. Magic card. And I say, don't don't pay attention to me. Keep on talking. <laughs> now we're all gonna sit here in awkward silence until we see your end result. Right. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I could always like, start off on one of my rants. No, oh, not yet. Uh, not yet. We <laughs> Wait, we're He's still recording. Hang on. Still recording. I don't still have a rant. This I don't have a rant this week, I don't think. The one's got me wound up. That Oh, yes, I do have a rant. Oh, my God. I read it yesterday. That was actually 4 o'clock this morning I read it. Yeah, I've been up so since So you were up morning. throwing your coffee cup at the floor at 4 o'clock this morning? No, I don't drink coffee. No, I actually, I've got a, what we're thinking, I've got a torn uh, shoulder again. And so I've oh, not boy. been sleeping well for close to a month. Oh. Yeah, my shoulder's already been operated on twice. And they told me it's inoperable again. And the last time that it was operated on, I was lucky to even have use of my right arm. And I've torn it again. And so yeah. she keeps trying to get me to go to the doctors, and I keep telling her no. Because I know what's going to end up in. They'll say, if you're going to have surgery, then I'll be strung up for eight to ten weeks. And Yeah, Jim, the problem is the longer you wait, the more damage you do to that rotator cuff and the more surgery – more in-depth right. surgery is needed. So listen to your wife. Stop being a stupid old man. Yeah, I mean, I've blown 80% 80 of my shoulder has been destroyed at one point in time. I blew the bicep tendon. And rotator was completely yeah. separated. Uh, well, yeah, I, I mean, all. I've got rheumatoid arthritis. Both my shoulders hey, are separate, right? My rotator cuffs are shot. So yeah. I get it. But the thing is, I've got a huge job. Doctor. Stop being I've a boomer. A I know, but I've got a huge job sitting in the shop and I can't be down. I've got to get through that. That's life, man. And I've got a pond hopefully to be putting in soon. <laughs> I gotta get the what does this look like to you. A job in the shop is temporary. A blown shoulder is forever. I've got a left arm. What? Yeah. <laughs> For now. Blow that? Well, that one. I too. I lost my right arm. I've already done that before. I've had that one's been down. <laughs> That's what I mean. I lost the use of my right arm for two years. Seriously? Yeah, I couldn't. I did not have my right arm for two years. And then I had to relearn. And then I had to relearn how to write, pick up a glass, put a fork in my mouth. Yeah, it was fun. That sounds like it. All right, Chris, what you got, man? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to report you to Thunder Laser. You're operating the equipment without all the safety devices in place. <laughs> part of you, so. Yeah, you should have stopped recording. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should have just stopped recording. I've, I, can, I can do a little bit of a picture on a fiber. I can't do one on a CO2 to save my life, but I'm going to work on that. I need Since to I have now that I can get a picture to work on the CO2, uh, it just depends on the photo. When I get it, the quality of the photo Tommy's matters like, so Tommy, much. Tommy's like really intrigued in this. You can sit there and he's sitting there just staring. He's going, ha, ha, ha. Dude, I never you thought know. of that, Tommy, Jim, you don't understand. But... entire card on an aluminum, anodized yeah. aluminum business. But it is a card concept. Blank you and get, selling those. Jim, you don't understand the, the money that these people will spend oh, yeah. yeah just keep in mind oh, like, though, better by license 
Oh, I, I'm not worried about the whole card. I'm worried about certain certain aspects and certain gotcha. things. That's gotcha. um, I'm not. I don't want to recreate the card, but like some of the the boxes that we do, like for hers, if I can yeah. take her commander card and put the image on the top of her box. Yeah, that'd be sick. And that's what yeah. I'm looking for. It's it's things yeah. of that nature. Um. Yeah. And. and yeah, I'm I'm fascinated. Um, I still gotta y'all gotta can't show me the damn fibers. Not to the end of the year. I still gotta come get that thirty five from Chris whenever he tells me it's done. Yeah, man, it's I won't. Hey, how do I take out stock since I'm buying so many damn lasers? Uh, Every four lasers you buy, you get free stock. You have to have four. You're getting close. Fair enough. <laughs> oh shit, that was recorded. Sorry, Brown. <laughs> Brian's going, huh? What? Huh? 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 I was distracted for a moment. Um, squirrel. He was watching the fiber. He was mesmerized. Yeah. No, there was a squirrel. It is mesmerizing. Mm-hmm. Just amazed how fast it's running. Right? It's just doing the boring part of the card right now. Right. <laughs> well, here we can, we can we can switch over. Nice. You guys, you guys probably saw this already, right? No. That's no. awesome. <laughs> yeah, just just take the damn money. Tell me when the class is. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's incredible. I've got some rings and that rotary. I'm gonna start playing with that pretty soon on the fiber and uh, try to work up some stuff on that. I'll probably end up sending the rotary to Chris, though. I'll probably get mad at it. It can't <laughs> be that hard. No, it's not. It's not bad. What I, I will say with I, the fiber is the same one. What's that? What rotaries work with the fiber? It depends uh, on what you want to do. Yeah, he's got a rotoboss hooked to his. <laughs> Uh, and you can do that. The pinout's different. You can't take one from Anova and put it in there. The pinouts are a little different on the connectors. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you, you, there's some some swapping around that has to happen. The um, let me see. This is the rotary um, for it. Okay. It's a chuck. And yeah, it's a chuck. But you'll notice that. The, the belt runs in the back part. They made it, they had to sandwich it a little bit for space. So this will mm -hmm. close with the door, you know, so the door will close around it. And there's some videos on, on the YouTube channel uh, about it, but it's a little, a little neat little chuck. So and, I'm going to play and, with that. And, that. and that chuck compared to other chucks is amazing. Really? Did you get one of these? Have you tried it? No, they're sending me one because I got somebody that wants a demo or something. But this okay. is the chuck that I have. And you need two people to lift it. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a key. You know, this is an old school chuck. Mm -hmm. Just like a lathe chuck. Right. Yeah, exactly. Those are pretty exactly. common. Those are really common for the for the generic fibers. Ours is just a little different looking because they had to make it small enough to fit inside there with the door closed, and still be and in the center of the work area. The lock the locking me mechanism on it is insane. It's perfect. I mean that that's so much easier than having to use your Allen key and and turn it. So much nicer. Yeah, this one's got. I don't know if you can see it it's it's got an inner and an outer and you can use these tools oh, yeah, to tighten it up cool. once you get it tight huh. yeah that's insane that that's beautiful wow what a neat design yeah uh, isn't that like our nova checks tommy our novas do that don't it? yeah yeah that then what is it the no yeah for the lathe yeah i think you have yeah. the same check i've got yeah probably yeah i've i've still got one of those thunder chuck rotaries you know for the novus one of those big ones still over here somewhere i'm not gonna put that in there though no <laughs> well cool um anybody got anything
It two is two, got two more minutes. How do you sign uh, yeah, up? Brian, the last thing, what happens with uh, that ticket that I did? How do you follow up with that? How do you mail that to me? It, it's already started, and you should have already gotten a request to get your uh, – your tag, which we don't maybe not need for that particular thing. Um, and then as soon as I reply back to it, um, we'll, uh, I, I just haven't done it right now because I can't do two things at once sometimes. <laughs> I replied yeah, to okay, it. well, I'm, I'm not at my machine. So what do you mean by uh, tag? A, Hopefully it's not like it. the manufacturer yeah. number or whatever. Yeah, we, we always require the serial number because that's how we check the machines, but that won't stop doing what we're doing. Uh, I don't have any of the LEDs. I'm going to have to either find a source locally and send you the LED or get it shipped directly from China with DHL. But I'll explain all that stuff in the ticket. So, um, but Okay, thanks. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, no, no, no worries, man. It's the purpose so, of the call. What, what were you saying, Danny? Uh, how do you sign up for the class, uh, CeeLo? On, uh, There'll be an article. We haven't published the article yet, and it'll have a sign-up sheet or form on it, just like the one-hour training and the 30-minute sessions do. Uh, and and we'll we'll deploy that. It'll I'm sure we'll stick it all over the sites, and we'll you know put it out everywhere. Do you want to? I already it? have orders from headquarters that I will do the family portraits this year. For <laughs> I got gotcha. you, Brian. Well, you're at yeah. your five o'clock mark if you're trying to keep it for timing for your videos. Hey, I am. Um, I'm going to stop.